Hey there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a card share featuring the April 2015 Simon Says Stamp card kit. And the card kit comes with a great stamp set, perfect for all kinds of birthday greetings. And I am going to create a card today using the Misty stamping tool to help line up my greetings so that I get them perfectly aligned really easily. And this is a great tool for that. There's lots of tutorials and things out there, so I'm not going to focus so much on that today, although I might do one in the future, but I'm just gonna show how I laid my stamps out where I wanted them to go. And once I had them in place, I um, closed the tool, and it picks up the stamps, and I'm gonna ink them up with some Versamark ink. My paper is perfectly aligned there inside. I'm going to press that in place, lift that, and it did stick just because I'm using Versamark ink, which is kind of sticky. I'll peel it off. I'm going to set that aside for just a second while I take some gold embossing powder and sprinkle that over the greetings. Now this was two separate greetings from the stamp set, but you can see they're perfectly aligned. I'm going to go heat emboss that here in just a second. They're perfectly straight. That is the genius behind the Misty stamping tool, is that it allows you to stamp things exactly where you want them. Instead of maybe, I'm notorious for stamping a greeting and finding out that it's kind of skewed one way or another and it's more diagonal than straight across. I really wanted this greeting to definitely be straight up and down. Now, I am also going to use the Misty stamping tool to stamp the birthday, cam birthday candles from this same stamp set. And I'm using the brand new Hero Arts Ombre inks <clears throat> um, in the pink color and then the yellow orange and also the mint. The reason is, is I was inspired by the colors in the April card kit. However, I'm not actually using those colors of cardstock from the kit. I'm going to use one of the other papers from the kit. So I thought I would kind of implement those colors by my ink choices. So I'm using these ombre inks, which are awesome, and it allows the candles to be multicolored. The great thing about this stamp tool is when I stamped the candle the first time, it had a few little missing areas there. I was able to ink it up again and flip it over and it's still perfectly aligned. Now I think I kind of missed that in the video, but when I stamp the second mint candle, I will show you that because the same thing happened. So I am simply repeating the candle sequence color here, the pink, then the kind of orangey and yellow and mint. And I'm purposely aligning them so that they're not straight up and down just for this. I thought it would give it a little bit more of a whimsical feel, and I'm making sure to clean my stamp really good between each stamping. So here is going to be my last candle. I'm going to place that right where I want it to go. That's the other great thing is a lot of times you will lay out your stamps where you want them to go, but when you go to actually stamp them, it might not be exactly in that same spot. In this case, it's going to end up exactly where you placed it. Here I'm inking it up with the mint ombre ink again. And this is where I stamped it the first time, and you will see there's those little spots that it just didn't ink very well. So I'm re-inking my candle, and I'll press that again, and it perfectly aligns, and now I have a really nice, crisp stamped image. Now, for the flames on top of the candle, there are a couple sizes to choose from, and you could probably even layer them to do a two-tone flicker there at the top. I'm going to use the larger of the two, and then I'm using my same ombre ink pad, but I am just inking it up with a single color. The great thing, again, is that where I place that stamp is exactly where it's going to um, stamp on the actual paper. So I'm just simply moving it each time, making sure I have it lined up exactly where I want it to go, and then using the Misty tool to shut the cover, to pick it up, and then ink it up. I am using both the lightest and mid-tone colors from that ombre ink pad. I'm just kind of randomly doing those in a couple of colors just for some added interest. So I'll finish inking up those last three candles, 
and then I'm ready to finish the card. I did die cut my panel there with a stitched rectangle from the Simon Says Stamp die collection, and I did that before I stamped everything. That's just from some of the cardstock in the April kit, and then I took the clear wink of Stella glitter pen over the little flames there on the candles. I'm going to place some adhesive on the back of my die cut rectangle, and then I trimmed one of the gold foil papers from the April card kit to an A2 size, so it's five and a half inches tall by four and a quarter inches wide, and adhered my rectangle right in the middle of that, and then I'm going to adhere this panel to my card base, also created from some of the cardstock in the card kit. Now this looks beautiful just as is, but I am going to go ahead and take some glossy accents and apply that to the top of each of the candles just to give it a little bit of gloss there and it's a fun little embellishment. Got to get the glossy accents unclogged with a straight pin. Just dabbing it on right where the ink is. Once I have that, that all um, applied, I'm going to set it aside to dry for a little bit. If I had been thinking I would have waited to adhere the card panel to my card, be, um, while that glossy accents was drying because I am going to stamp a greeting on the inside so when the glossy accents was dried I stamped another greeting from that same stamp set and, and then heat embossed it with the gold embossing powder. I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing the April 2015 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. The supplies I've used are listed below the video here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.